This is the Corin village of uh, Mungam, and it's Sunday, and everybody's getting out of the Catholic Church. Now, Mungam is divided into two Corin villages. One is Christian, the other one is Buddhist. This is the uh, Christian one. Just go walk inside. Hello. So what do you got? Hello. 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 Okay, service is over. I realized I just made a mistake. I walked down the right side, which is girls only, supposedly, and the left side is the boys, and I walked down the right side. Now, the girls in white are single. The Korean Hill Tribe people, you can tell single from married. Married girls wear the colors, blue or red, usually, and the single girls wear white. That's how they tell the single girls from the married girls. Okay. Okay. okay, this is my friend uh, Uncle Black, his real name, Thai name is Dum, and uh, he's my friend here, and we guides around here, this is our guide, and uh, Dom, where'd you learn your English? So, the first I learned from my cousin, and mostly I improved my English with the foreigner. Yeah, good. And also from BBC World Service. Good, all right. <laughs> So, he knows all the Hill Tribe village around here, right? Yep. How, well, how, what are the Hill Tribe people around here? So, he doesn't, normally he don't, he like the foreigner very much, you know? Yeah. Before, they are not Christian yet, they are head uh, missionary, they head the foreigner, but now all around here become a Christian. Okay. So, they like the foreigner very much. What Hill Tribes are around here? What? What hill tribe? Why? What, what hill tribes? What hill tribe? There's, there, there's Korean, there's what? Oh, we have many different. So we are Karen, but around here mostly Aka and the Lahu. Yeah, good. Yeah. All right, Dom, well, we'll see you uh, in a couple weeks when okay. we bring some people by. Okay. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. Here we are with Dorme along and uh, here they're uh, doing cockfights. Now, cockfighting here, they don't have spurs on them. They cut the spurs off so uh, they don't damage each other. And the first one that quits is a loser. Okay? So they don't fight to the death. And once it gets too ugly, then they're going to stop them. Okay, here we are uh, from, uh, between Tatan and Doi Lao Li Wawi. And outside of Chiang Rai, they have this unusual uh, white temple. And uh, it's pretty unusual. I call it the snow temple. Okay, we'll take some more pictures here later. Lao Li Resort at uh, Wowie Mountain, oh, above 2,000 meters, and uh, it's a misty morning, just waiting for the sun to come up here in the mountains, and it's uh, absolutely beautiful up here and down in the valley, and uh, as it gets lighter, we'll be able to show you more, okay? Okay, it's about 6.30, and I thought I'd take a walk from the resort, and uh, Nothing here but me and a couple of dogs. And that's about, oh, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I thought I'd take a walk outside the resort to look around. And uh, still pretty well socked in. But uh, this valley is really spectacular. Really nice. You can see all the tea plants here. We're going to go to a tea plantation today. 
and a tea factory. And uh, the resort is back up this way. And uh, we'll walk back up that way. Well, this place is so peaceful and tranquil. So nice to go out of the city and come to a place like this. You can hear the morning announcements uh, on the PA system over in the village. This is like stepping back in China, you know. Some people on the way to work. Mm. And over there's the resort. Okay, I'm going for breakfast. Reduce cholesterol. Tea. Sure. Okay. This is our local guide named Boo and uh, I'm going to walk around here. He's going to tell us about the tea. Beautiful. Really nice. Okay. This is oolong. Soft branch. Soft what? Uh, this is how do you? Oh, the soft branch. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, the best uh, tea in the world, right? Okay. Yeah. This tea here we had last night with our meal. It was really it tastes really good. Right. Tea is called Oishi. And uh, these tea plants, what you do is they can pick them uh, every two weeks. And uh, so they don't pick them every day. These here are about ready. Hopefully we'll see somebody out here picking them soon. Okay, there's our rooms up there. And here's the tea. Now this is not just oolong tea. This is called ching ching oolong. Which means it's manicured. You've got to keep the grass cut around it and everything else. Well, that's a, the highest quality. The lower quality and cheaper tea, they just let the grass grow naturally around it. So, beautiful flowers here. Okay, on we go. Really a pretty walk. Beautiful. Through this gate here. Wow, I wonder what this is. This is cool. See a real Chinese home here. Really nice. It's a typical Chinese, it's like being in China. <laughs> really nice, they got the chimney when they cook inside. <laughs> 